Bad ending to the search for a missing hiker, a missing biker. Earlier this afternoon, authorities found the body at Guana Reserve. No foul play is suspected. All your size, Brianna Ray Turner has been out there since this morning and has the latest on that missing biker who was found dead. Searchers have been out here since Monday evening trying to locate Mark Myhofer, who is riding his bike here at Guana Reserve. Now, the reserve has been blocked off for uh, most of the day, and it actually still is. Um, but when I talk to people today, they are just shocked that this is the outcome. Monday evening, the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office gets a call about a possible missing biker. 57-year-old Mark Myhofer arrived to the Guana Reserve Monday, parked his car, and hit the trails on his bike but he never returned. His vehicle was located by an FWC patrol officer Monday afternoon after normal park hours. So that FWC officer was concerned for his welfare because he did not return to his car. Law enforcement agencies launched a full scale search today. They had people on ATVs, horses and even boats in the water. It's a scene fisherman Carlton Walker did not expect to see. Oh, I was worried that what happened if, you know, probably there's a crime scene or something, you know, because it's a bunch of police cars and new station and all that, so I was very concerned. Shortly after 1 p.m. today, investigators announced they located my hope for his body in the park. At this time, we do not know his cause of death, but investigators say foul play is not suspected. As for Walker, he says he sends his condolences to the family. I mean, the holidays is coming, it's Thanksgiving, you know, everybody want to be home with the family, you know what I mean? There's just one family now. That's not going to have a loved one for Thanksgiving, so that's pretty sad. We won't know the cause of death until the autopsy is complete. I'm here at Guana Reserve. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side. Mm.